Hey everybody, this is my Maker Gear M3 ID, but now it has new controls on it. So the original uh, Raspberry Pi, I think uh, 3B, has been removed, as has the Rambo 1.3 control board. And now it has controls from Big Tree Tech. The control board itself is an octopus board with 2209 stepper motor drivers that make this machine much quieter. And now it's got a screen with it, and it's using a Big Tree Tech. Pi. So right now I'm printing some product in copy mode, which is really cool. This is ABS, uh, two different colors. Some of the big improvements that I've gotten have been um, input shaper, and there's the accelerometer um, you can hook up to do the resonance testing. Uh, pressure advance, which here's an artifact for kind of tuning that. Those are some of the big things, and again the quieter stepper motor drivers is a, a really cool thing. Um, adding a screen, which you could get one from Maker Gear, but uh, I didn't have one. And now having one has been really helpful, but also being able to access Clipper on my phone. And even when I'm not at home on my Wi-Fi, I can use some um, Octo Everywhere to, for my controls. So. That has increased the ease of use. A lot of steps have been eliminated for just getting a print up and running, or um, even even the slicing has improved. So the slicer that Maker Gear is kind of tied to is um, Simplify 3D. Now that's a paid software, and it it was pretty good, but now I'm using Cura, which is free and it's got a lot of advantages to it. One of which is you can make these um, tuning towers automatically for temperature, fan, here's one for speed. That's been very helpful. And there's just a one button upload and start printing function after you slice. And that it just take it just cut a lot of steps out of getting the printer fired up and running. So it's been great much better so if you have one of these they're very well built mechanically and I've got this one I showed in a previous video I've got it secured to a wall so it can't wobble um, even with input shaper um, I like to keep it anchored to the wall because why not but uh, the controls were a little clunky compared to what's what's available now. So if you have one and you're thinking about upgrading it or getting it upgraded, it's pretty cool. So there you go. That's an update. Thanks for watching.